Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Can We Turn Ocean Water into Renewable Energy? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, published on March 2, 2021. Research conducted by Samuel S. Veranu and Daniel G. Nocera of the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology, Harvard University. Read by Alex Gannett. Abstract. Think about what life would be like without energy. No refrigerators, no computers, no cars, and no cell phones. Today, most of the world's energy comes from fossil fuels, which are non-renewable resources. Resources that take a long time for Earth to make, that pollute our air and land. That is why we are trying to find a cleaner, renewable energy resource that can power our planet. Hydrogen is a great renewable fuel that can be made from water. Most of the water on Earth is salt water, so we created a device that can make hydrogen from it at a low cost. It combines the process of osmosis with the reaction of water splitting. Our data show that this device is effective and efficient, which means hydrogen could become more available in the future. Introduction When you think of renewable energy, you probably think of solar and wind. These resources can definitely give us energy, but not always and not everywhere. Some places are not sunny or windy enough, and nowhere is sunny and windy all of the time. That's why scientists think hydrogen is an exciting type of renewable energy. We can make it using solar and wind energy, store it, and use it anywhere and any time. To make hydrogen, Scientists use a process known as water splitting. In this process, electricity transforms water, H2O, into hydrogen gas, H2, and oxygen gas, O2. Water splitting requires pure water without any extra bits like dirt particles that might cause problems. These impurities can corrode the materials used to split the water. But pure water is uncommon since 97% of Earth's natural water is salty. So currently, before it can be split, water needs to be purified using expensive desalination techniques. That's why we wondered, could there be a low cost, efficient way to split hydrogen from natural water? We wanted to use osmosis to take the water out of the salty ocean and use it to make hydrogen. Osmosis occurs when a membrane separates two solutions. The membrane acts as a filter. It lets some materials through, but not others. So we call it a semi-permeable membrane. For osmosis to occur, one of the solutions needs to be saltier than the other. The difference in saltiness causes water to flow from the less salty solution through the membrane to the saltier solution. That's why if you put a grape in the ocean, it will shrivel up. The water leaves the grape because the ocean is saltier. We combine this process with water splitting to make hydrogen from salt water. Image of a car filling up at a hydrogen fuel station in California. Methods. We created a device, figure one, that can perform water splitting and osmosis at the same time. We placed a semi-permeable membrane at the bottom of a tube and made sure it was held tight. Outside the tube, we put a solution made with water and table salt, NaCl. When you dissolve NaCl in water, it turns into Na plus and Cl minus, which are known as ions. This solution represents seawater. Then we put a solution of another salt, sodium phosphate, Na3PO4, inside the tube. We made the solution inside the tube saltier, so water could flow into the tube through the membrane. Most importantly, sodium phosphate doesn't react with anything, so it can make our solution saltier without any undesirable side effects. At the top of the tube, we placed two wires made out of platinum. We connected the metal strips with wires and a power source. We wanted to keep the volume of the solution inside the tube constant. We determined how fast the osmosis would make water flow in 
and how fast the water splitting would eat it up. Then we set them up to be equal to determine how much electricity we needed to make the device work. We ran the device for two days. During this time, we measured how much phosphate escaped our device and how much Cl- got inside. We also measured the amount of hydrogen gas created. For comparison, we ran a water splitting device directly in salt water without osmosis. Results. Our osmosis water splitting device worked really well. At the end of the two day period, we measured the total amount of hydrogen created by the device. We compared this value to the amount of hydrogen we expected the device to make. We call this comparison the phoretic efficiency. A high phoretic efficiency tells us that the water splitting reactions occurred without any unexpected side reactions. The phoretic efficiency for the osmosis water splitting device was 100% for hydrogen. When we tried to split salt water without osmosis, the phoretic efficiency for hydrogen dropped down to only 50%. Figure 1, located above the results. Our forward osmosis water splitting device. The figure shows the device sitting in natural seawater with H2O flowing in past an orange semi-permeable membrane. Inside the device, there is sodium phosphate solution and two platinum wires connected to wires at the top. There is a red arrow showing hydrogen gas, H2, being created and a blue arrow showing oxygen gas, O2, being created. Discussion. Our research shows that it is possible to create hydrogen from seawater using osmosis, and better yet, that we can do it efficiently. We know that salt water cannot be split into hydrogen gas as efficiently as pure water because we get a much lower phoretic efficiency. Without osmosis, the C- in the salt water causes side reactions that make water splitting happen less efficiently. The membrane in our device stopped the Cl- ions from entering the tube. By keeping the Cl- out, the osmosis water splitting device made as much hydrogen gas as possible. Our next step is to improve the design and lower the cost of the device. We already tested new materials and found that nickel and stainless steel work even better. These metals are also much cheaper than platinum. We also want to explore other membrane materials to make our device more efficient. Conclusion. With a growing population and growing energy demands, renewable energy has become essential. Our osmosis water splitting device is a new approach to making renewable energy a reality. It will make hydrogen production more affordable by avoiding expensive water purification processes. It will also help make renewable energy a possibility anywhere in the world. You can also help reduce the use of non-renewable energy resources by conserving energy at home. You can switch to LED light bulbs, take shorter showers, and take public transportation or carpool whenever possible. No matter what you choose to do, it will reduce your energy impact on the environment.